You are welcome. We have this question on this board. Express 1 over minus 2 plus root minus 3 in the form a plus ib. So don't be panicked, okay? Whenever you are seeing i, this is telling us complex number, where a is the real number and b is what is imaginary number because it's attached to i. So therefore, look at this. 1 over minus 2 plus root minus 3. So now I want us to be, if you remember from sort, so from sort rationalization, okay, this is what we're going to have, right? But before that, can we rewrite this equation like this? 1 over minus 2. Now look at this root minus 3. So we can have this to be root minus i multiplied by 3. Because minus 1 multiplied by 3 will still give us minus 3. So we have what? We have 1 over minus 2 plus root minus 1 multiplied by root 3 which will give us 1 over minus 2. Now, don't forget that here, we have what we have, our root i, or root 1, so minus 1 to be equals i. That is from complex or from complex plane. So therefore, anywhere we see minus, our root minus 1, we replace it with what? With i. So this is going to be 1 over minus 2 plus root 3i. So, is it that you put the i at the back or you put it at the front? So, it's still the same thing. So, now, this is what we are now going to use. We are now going to factorize. Oh, sorry. We're going to rationalize this. Okay? We do sort of rationalization. So, therefore, by taking the conjugate of what of the denominator. So, this is going to be 1 over 1 over minus 2 plus root 3i multiplied by 2 minus 2 minus root 3i over minus 2 minus root 3 was root 3i. So therefore, the conjugate is just by changing this positive sign to negative. Good. So now from there we have, we multiply 1 by all of this, we have minus 2. 1 times this, we have minus root 3i. Then divided by this minus 2 times this, I'm going to be having 4. Minus 2 times uh, minus root 3, I'm going to be having uh, plus 2 root 3i. Now, the same thing, I'm going to be having minus plus root 3i times this. I'm going to be having minus 2 root 3i. Then this times this, I'm going to be having plus times minus will give me minus. Then root 3 times root 3 will give me root 3 squared. Then multiply by i squared. i squared because i times i right then we have what from here we have minus 2 minus root 3 i then divided by now don't forget here where we have i squared that is another fact is that when you have i squared i squared will be equals to minus 1 that is also from what from complex plane so therefore whenever you see i squared here you replace it with minus 1 so we have 4 this minus this will give us zero so we have minus now here this square we cancel the square root we have three then multiply by i square is what is minus one i have minus one so now from there i have minus two minus root three i then divided by four minus three times plus minus one we have plus what plus three right so now from there we have minus two three i divided by seven is that not so now from there we can now split because the question said we should write it in form of this where we are going to be having a real value and the imaginary value so therefore this is going to be i so we have this where a is minus 2 over 7 and b is what root 3 over 7 according to what they ask us to find do you understand that because is b which is root 3 over 7 that is attached to i why a is minus 2 over 7 that is what that is standing alone so thank you so much for watching bye bye